Hello everyone. Today in this video I will be briefing you about the practical course in microbiology at FIBSC level. So as we have semester pattern the semester pattern shall continue for practical course also. That means you will have few practicals in the first semester and the practical examination will be conducted at the end of each semester that means in one year you will be facing practical examination for two times so all these practicals are divided into two semesters so today we will be talking in general regarding the microbiology practicals and microbiology laboratory this is for the first time you are getting exposure to the microbiology laboratory. This laboratory is different from other biology labs like botany and zoology. There are several differences, several things that you need to remember and you need to care, take care of several things while working in microbiology laboratory and performing microbiology practicals. Let us begin with the responsibilities of the student, a microbiology student and its working and behavior in the microbiology laboratory. The important thing as it happens with any experiment and as you work in several laboratories is the student should read the relevant data regarding the experiment to be performed. That is in general. While working in microbiology laboratory, while dealing with microbiology practicals, you need to have some tools which are may not be needed in other biological laboratories. So what are these tools that you need to carry while performing practicals in microbiology laboratory. It is the laboratory manual, the journal, matchbox, rough notebooks, apron, color pencils, practical weighing box and the instrument box. So these are the basic needs for working in microbiology laboratory. The student should talk, should not talk during the practical. That is a common instruction which is given to all the students while performing practicals in the laboratories. The student should work systematically by observation of the following instructions, writing of all the systematically all the information systematically in the rough notebook that means you should have a separate rough notebook for practical of first semester of FIBSC microbiology that is compulsory collecting of all the requirements before performing the practical you will be briefed in a concise manner regarding the practical and then you will be allowed to perform the practical. Performing the experiment by referring to the flow charts and procedures in laboratory. So you will be told about the protocols and procedures, whatever the standard procedures and protocols are there and accordingly you need to follow the protocol and procedures in order to perform the experiments. You need to write all the essential information, practical data in journal that is that will be dictated time to time by your practical supervisor or teacher. Aim, principle of the method, requirement, readings or observations and conclusions. These are the main things which we need to understand and write in journal as well as in our rough, rough notebook 
uh, in order to perform the practical. Your rough notebook has to be brought every time during the practical session. Then the in laboratory you will be provided with essential glass material, plastic vase and instruments. There are few important things that you need to follow while working in microbiology laboratory because as I mentioned microbiology laboratory is a special laboratory uh, that means you may find some uncommon things in microbiology laboratory and you need to take care of spe special things. First one always wear a laboratory coat that is the apron while entering the laboratory without and without wearing apron your entry in the laboratory is it is not allowed why it is essential because in laboratory we deal with several materials like media components like stains and other things so this apron is going to protect your clothes from contamination or any accidental discoloration by staining solutions so that is just for the protection of your clothes and to avoid the contamination one very important thing is in microbiology we deal with microorganisms these are the organisms that cannot be seen by eyes so in laboratory we particularly deal with a particular type of microorganism and we need to avoid the contamination that means entry of other microorganisms these microorganisms are existing in or uh, on dust particles and dust is always spreaded onto our desk or working table so to keep that working table free from microorganisms that is the job of a microbiologist so to keep your laboratory bench clean of everything uh, you need to make use of a disinfectant so that disinfectant will be provided in the laboratory that is uh, phenol ethanol or lysol in general we make use of one of the derivatives of phenol that is detol in the laboratory so diluted detol will be useful as a disinfectant to get rid of microorganisms present on dust particle in the similar fashion you need to keep your bench clean and other utensils also smoking drinking and eating in the laboratory is strictly prohibited because in microbiology laboratory we may deal with different types of pathogens so particularly eating in the laboratory could be dangerous you may get infected with different pathogens human pathogens never place any material in your mouth because it may be contaminated and there are chances of getting infection through these contaminated utensils if a live culture culture means the bacterial the bacterial suspension if it is spilled over the area with this over the area then it has to be disinfected with the disinfectants strong disinfectants like mercury chloride and cleaning is essential in order to get rid of these pathogens in the event of personal injury such as cut or burn you need to inform the instructor immediately to get rid of bacterial infection very important notice for instruction for the girl students that long hairs should be tied back to minimize the contamination of cultures and 
fire hazards this is very important because in microbiology laboratory we particularly deal with the burners the when the burners are burn while burners are burning uh, of gas then there may be chances of fire hazards so in order to avoid the fire hazards the girl students particularly should take this precaution to tie their hair which will be a good practice you should be careful of laboratory burners and turn them off when they are not in use this is the burners are the specific tools which are not used in other biological laboratory so it is a special tool which is used in microbiology laboratory cleanliness is very important the waste paper and contaminated glassware should be kept in uh, in receptacle provided or in dust bins after your work is over you need to wash your hands with soap and water before leaving the laboratory so cleanliness is very important personal hygiene is very important you need to make sure that you are not carrying any pathogen with you at home materials such as stains reagent bottles petri plates pipettes must be returned to their original location so after use you need to uh, maintain this particular discipline so discipline maintenance is very important in every laboratory frequently we will be using microscopes so the use of microscope uh, is has to be made very carefully basically we have three lenses low power objective then 45x objective and one more objective you will be using that is oil immersion objective so after use of this microscope you need to take care that the objective is placed in its original position particularly while using the oil immersion lens as the name indicates oil immersion so this lens is to be used with oil so it is immersed in oil and listen until it is immersed in oil bacteria cannot be seen so after the use of this oil immersion lens one need to clean that lens before it is returned into the cabinet these are the few very basic instructions that you need to take care of in microbiology laboratory